Stacey Abrams, who is infamous for claiming she won the Georgia gubernatorial race in 2018 even though she lost by thousands of votes, is now warning America that we we will be speaking Russian by 2030. Talk about a conspiracy theorist. Abrams didn't seem very worried about the 100,000 illegal aliens pouring over our borders each month but is terrified over a few Russians who post Facebook ads. The Gateway Pundit reported that Stacey Abrams has repeatedly blamed voter suppression for the reason why she lost to Republican challenger Brian Kemp in the 2018 Georgia gubernatorial. She lost by over 55,000 votes but she really won, just ask her. Where should we send your free Trump 2020 hat? And are your address here Democrats just can't seem to accept the results to the elections that they lose. There's no more fundamental and national security crisis than the theft of our elections, not simply through Russian hacking, which is incredibly important and we have to pay attention to it, but by the suppression of the very voters whose voices could change the direction of our country. Abrams said at an event on Friday, if we do not secure our democracy and ensure that every vote counts in 2020, we will be having a very different conversation, possibly in Russian, in 2030, she continued. Watch Stacey Abrams warns of a Russian takeover by 2030 if voter suppression isn't addressed https colon slash slash t dot co slash wbmhlvft zero rpic dot twitter dot com slash zogated three tt David Rutz at David Rutz May 10th 2019 Abrams has been constantly pushing the conspiracy that she actually won her election in Georgia even though she lost by 55,000 votes to Brian Kemp. Get all of the top trending political news at TrendingPolitics.com While speaking at an event in April, the Radical Democrat said, We had this little election back in 2018 and despite the final tally and the inauguration and, the situation we find ourselves in, I do have very affirmative statement to make, we won. After falsely stating that Kemp was an architect of voter suppression, Abrams said that she will not concede the election. She sounds just like the rest of the Democratic Party who still haven't accepted the results to the 2016 election. I am not the governor of Georgia, remember I told you about my opponent? Abrams said. You see not only was he the Secretary of State he was also the architect of voter suppression. We can work as hard as we want, we can fight rights. But if you're fighting against the system that is designed to oppress you, sometimes you got to fight a little bit longer than you'd think. On November 6, I said from the podium that we were going to not declare anything until every vote is counted, and on November 16, I decided to acknowledge the states of the election but I refused to concede, Abrams continued, because here is the thing concession means to say something is right and true and proper. Urgent 2020 poll, Trump or Bernie? I'm a good lawyer, and I understand that the law of the land said that Brian Kemp became governor that day and I acknowledge that, but you can't trick me into saying it was right," Abrams ended. You can't shame me into pretending what happened should have happened. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. You might like Let's Block Hats. Why?